Let's go. Let's say you do it. Let's do another pick a coin today. It's gonna to be who is interested in you. That could be interesting and maybe triggering. Stay cool. Uh, we do two powers and then we develop angel card and hidden oracle, hidden truth oracle. <laughs> Not the hidden oracle. Okay, let's go. One, two, one, two. Pan number one. Who is interested in you? The fool, the eight of sword, and the death card. Okay, so. It's quite drastic here because it's someone who definitely feel limited in their mind i'm not good enough for you you deserve someone better they should leave you be the judge of that um but that's the idea of themselves they don't see themselves very interesting or whatever very relevant i think they are uh, either be a bit foolish as a result and maybe shoot themselves in the foot self-sabotage because well what's the point anyway i don't stand a chance so i'm gonna just be silly or be the clown as well right but also it could be someone that eventually will take a deeper face and talk to you because that's where we stand there is a, a death guard so when you're closing a door to something an attitude or maybe that perspective they have on themselves which is quite negative and then rebuild themselves maybe they left the country they went somewhere else and they proved themselves they could do it very well so that probably gave them a little bit of self-confidence i hope so okay so i have more information yeah they perceive you as very tranquil very grounded doing well for yourself also very trustworthy um, you do things well. When you commit yourself, you really commit yourself. Maybe they saw you as someone a bit too grounded in that sense because they wanted maybe to go and leave someone else. They wanted to um, be more an adventurer, uh, an adventure. Uh, and you were more cozy, kind of at home doing your thing and maybe buying a home and, and settle it down. Maybe they were not um, on that kind of energy at the time, right? But let's not forget, we have a rebirth with the death card. Yeah, they still saw you very, very um, beautiful and attractive and easy to talk to. So you see what I mean? They still keep an eye on you. Maybe you're on social media and they check you and they check you out they see maybe a different style of you now now then you're not so cozy or maybe you were maybe uh, married with someone in a relationship and they thought well what the point now is too late but maybe you're not anymore and now you're back on the market if i may say so they see you oh everything changes suddenly exactly that is a reverse of a situation for example right so yeah they i would say that they travel in the world they are they're not in this country maybe or they're very much, you know, um, open-minded to new uh, um, technology and they're very much, you know, surfing the wave. And they really still think of you as magnificent, okay? So I think this person may have been at some point very close off. I don't think that person was with someone else. I feel like that person decided at some point, I'm not going to open the heart. To be with you would have meant to be uh, maybe getting married as a whole shebang, okay? Because you may be more traditional than that person is. That person didn't want to open the heart because that was a man way, the man, um, uh, yeah, a way to protect themselves. So with you now, they always had a fascination about you, regardless, okay? But you're probably the one who came the closest to the heart, but still they didn't want to open the heart. And that's something they may have. Uh, agree with themselves uh, at a very young age okay so what can you do right yeah so they find you very strong regardless and they maybe also don't see themselves as strong maybe you committed you have children you divorce but you keep it together when they're more like fluffing around but traveling the world and not really being stable in one job maybe or stable in in the you know in the traditional way you could say they might say, well, I'm not husband material or I'm not wife material because, you know, I quite like to have my freedom, for example. So it's someone who's a bit of a free spirit, to say the least, and uh, nothing wrong with that. But there's some, it's someone who always look at you as someone sincere, someone who keep going regardless what's happening in your life. You're solid and they admire that. They really admire. And maybe, maybe they're getting tired of that traveling and all you know being unstable all the time and maybe they kind of think well it would be nice to have a sunday dinner you know uh and that would be quite a good idea to try that kind of stuff maybe <laughs> hey voila you see the change in their mind i know that i cross the line with you yeah because they may have hurt you because in the very i mean a long time ago um because they were not 
in the same wavelength but it's not their fault it's not your fault it's nobody's fault you were not just you know um in that kind of energy together at the same time that's timing for you being on the same wavelengths at the same time and maybe that never happened so maybe they thought that they kind of hurt you or maybe they push you away because they they knew they couldn't offer you stability and they thought you want stability i can't offer you that that's it courage you have what it takes just do it we your angel are here to support you yeah i think it would be a good idea for that person to take the courage to contact you now okay because i think they very much care about you and they always did so they may have not been the traditional kind of a uh, love interest but they always have a very uh, uh, gentle thought for you every day maybe or once a week they always think of you with a lot of tenderness beautiful okay so interesting Pile number two who is interesting in you uh six of ones uh, the hangman and the king of ones so that's very clear here is someone who has been fluffing around uh really a superficial maybe a party animal maybe just not uh into that kind of a, a family life vibe at all you know and maybe a bit of a flirt okay so we do have a transformation um because that person will uh, let go of that lifestyle maybe and refocus on who they are and choose you and choose love so it's someone transitioning okay in the different kind of uh lifestyle yeah maybe they were also very much about um you know sex and and rock and roll that kind of stuff but maybe now they want to be focused on one person and person only maybe as well they they remove that image you know no i'm not like that i used to be but my god it's a long time ago now i moved on yeah maybe that person is ready for a new start yeah they keep an eye on you regardless maybe they check your social media uh, they want to say I love you. Maybe you were a queen of wands and uh, we all know that the king of wands become a king of cups when he found the queen of wands. So page of cups, why not? A bit timid, want to say I love you. Mm, it's a good luck. Now they're, they're turning, uh, uh, you know, they're, they're turning or they're changing direction. I mean, we know uh, they're definitely, uh, whatever, uh, they want to, where is it? That this one. <laughs> they're changing direction completely. Absolutely. So Good luck is on your side, both of you. It's preparation, meeting, opportunity. I think you both knew there was something, there was some spark, but the timing was wrong. It's nobody knew. I think, yeah, you have an idea of rebalancing ourselves and, and go piano, piano now. It's really, you were meant to be together, but the timing was not correct. It's quite often the case, isn't it? Yeah. So now they have a lot of passion and they're ready to talk to you in that way. Mm. Instead of looking at you, they wanted to, yeah. Because with you, they feel at home. And it's it's very clear that for them it's difficult, and it's true, uh, to find that place where you feel totally at home with someone. You can be silly, you can be laughing, and you can be just you. No protection, you're just happy to, to giggle together. That is very rare. And I think they already saw that, a bit of that, but they thought, mm -mm, not ready for that. And now they're coming to tell you, I'm ready for it. Beautiful. So someone a bit of a party anymore maybe or superficial or very much about money but not really building strong relationship this person is coming back interesting what do we have i don't react when people mention you yeah because they know they know you are it but they don't want to say any, anything to anyone because it's just not ready yet and also i think when they have a relationship they like to keep it private and i think they're very right private life is private for a reason mm -hmm. what do we have here determination yeah determination perseverance and patience will lead to a positive outcome yeah that person has a lot of fire we have a lot of ones here they they are very much in fire for you you know on fire should say not in fire and um and they have a lot of passion and they just want to express that passion but now they there's a lot of things that came down you know a lot of things they don't they don't feel so excited about anymore they're just like more in in how can i say they are more receptive to love and also they very much wanted to give you love but they are they have made the time they took the time excuse me can not speak english today and uh, they took the time mm, they they needed to have maybe to release all that uh, physical energy all that passion uh, but now maybe they want to be loving one person and one person only that's not bad neither, isn't it? On this note, have a beautiful day and I'll see you tomorrow. Mwah. Ciao.